Welcome to Assess Bushcraft and Survival. Bushcraft here with another uh, unboxing video. This is uh, some kind of lant. I've not seen this, I've not used it, I've got no idea uh, how it works and what it's good for. It also may need batteries, so I may need to stop the video and, uh, and collect some, but let's have a look see. It's another one from King's. And remember guys, whenever you go out to the bush, whatever trash you bring into the bush, you take back with you, yeah? Alright, okay. So I read the front of it, and the front of it says that it's a lamp fan. Have you ever used a lamp fan before? Neither have I, which is why I was confused. But, having a look at it now, I see that the description was very apt. This is an, indeed a lamp fan. Uh, you can see it's embroidered with the, uh, the King's logo there. Got a couple of different settings here, on, off, uh, high, off and low for the fan. And it also looks like, yeah, the lamp and the fan are independent. So you got the fan blowing at you and the, or the fan blowing away and the light at you. And, um, okay, this is interesting. Cool, this moves very easily. You can hear that click. Those are, uh, I suppose, uh, friction bearings that um, can be set to various angles, which is cool. Here you've got a, uh, you've got a hook. So by all means, you can uh, hang the fan up, hang the lamp at some orientation, have them at 45 degrees from each other. Look, really, the possibilities are endless, aren't they? Um, but again, if I want to power it, no, okay. There was part of me that was hoping that um, there'd be some kind of uh, ratcheting mechanism that would allow you to charge some kind of internal system. That would be fantastic. But it seems that I'm going to have to pause the video here, go find some uh, batteries, and fire her up. Alrighty, before we stop, let me just have a look here at what kind of batteries. That was easy, it just pops off. Um, you can see some exposed circuitry here for the, uh, for the buttons. Open this up. Ooh, okay. Hang on a second. Right, so here's a problem with conducting videos on the fly like this. Um, <clears throat> I did actually bring some AAA batteries and some AA batteries. Uh, but this thing actually takes... Uh, C batteries it would, it would seem. You've got a very large opening there. Once again I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back to future bushcraft buying some C batteries and, uh, and trying these out. May or may not be in the same location. Hey guys, bushcraft uh, or future bushcraft back here. Um, look as you saw I did a little bit of a faux pas uh, in the last uh, last take of this, I, uh, I rolled up with um, a brand new product that uh, that I was very excited to unbox, um, but I don't know why. I just assumed batteries would be included. I don't know why I'd think that. I mean, they never want to include the batteries, do they? But we're back again, different location, not quite as uh, not quite as sunny as it was last time. But here we go, this fella. I can tell you that. Uh, after mucking around with it, it's not quite uh, as robust as it could be. All of the joints here seem to be going okay, but uh, this top part I've been having some trouble with. Uh, this is the second time, you just saw it then, I just went to try and uh, show you the functionality of those very loud hinges and, uh, and it just came off. And that's, um, look, it's a little bit of user error possibly, maybe there's uh, something I could be doing to secure it a little bit tighter. but. I'll show you here and uh, we'll see how it, how it functions when I put some batteries in. It's one of those things, have you got triple A's at home? Yeah. Have you got double A's at home? Yeah. Have you got C's and D's? No. Who has those? You know who should have them? A prepper. But again, most of my stuff usually has uh, at worst 9 volt batteries. Um, I think they're some of the most useful batteries. Double A's, triple A's, you can always use them, but I don't know. Most of my stuff just doesn't use C's or D's. Until now.
Oh, that seems pretty firm. So something else about the uh, the internal housing here is that um, you know you've got some exposed wiring there, which has to do with the uh, the buttons, the switches here. Um, I don't know. I guess it all just sort of screams that it's a little bit uh, cheaply made. I think they sell it for uh, fifteen bucks or something of that nature. What have we got here? This little thing here. All right. So what I'm looking for, right? There's a little um, little nodule on the side here, and a little uh, little nodule here on the side. What I'm looking to do is line those up. So even though here I am in the dark, I've lined them up, turned them like that. There you go. So that should be fine. But uh, you know, I have had situations it only needs to move about two degrees, like that, and it's unlocked. So just be careful. It does have hooks and things like that, which again I showed off earlier in the video. But um, yeah, be careful. Be careful. But with piece de resistance, the thing you've all been waiting for. Let me turn this on. There you go. Now I know I'm in a high light position here, but you can see that the light's uh, turning on there. Now you'd think, if you're looking at the video properly, that there's a couple of different settings for the light. But actually what those are, are me mucking around with the fan. So you've got the, uh, turn that back off again. You've got the fan there, right, and there's two switches. One on the right, one on the left. One turns the light on and off. The other, I don't know if you can hear this, turns the fan on and off. So, something that this demonstrates, and something I didn't notice before, with the light on, no worries, illuminate your situation, but as soon as you start to muck around with the fan, you can see that it's diverting energy away from the light source, so you can power the fan. Not necessarily a big deal, especially if all you're doing is using this as an auxiliary fan to uh, generate some airflow through a tent, for example, or, or a swag. Um, but, yeah, I guess for a, for a little cheapy, Decent. I do love this. This seems really sturdy. This this plastic here, very. It seems seems decently strong for what it is. So I'm not really too worried about it uh, getting scuffed. For example, if I put it down on one of these rocks, and set it there, and you know I wanted to turn the see, I'll turn the fan on. There you go. Turn the fan on. Ah, lovely breeze. But um, the same thing here. The plastic on the front is. Um, at least of a decent quality, it isn't exactly a flat surface, but at least, at least a decent quality that if I wanted to do this and have it sitting out somewhere, if I can get it to sit somewhere, here's where the not so flat bottom comes into play. Um, but yeah, see it's sitting there without any issue, so I could be doing something with my hands, whatever it is, and, and that's that. It's, uh, it's the King's uh, fan and light system. But, uh, look, if you're looking for a fan, um, and you happen to be dealing with King's anyway, I don't see any reason not to go for this. So, there you go. Anyway guys, sorry that it took so long for, well I guess it didn't take so long for you guys, because for you guys it was a second. I'm Bushcraft, this is Assessed Bushcraft and Survival, and uh, look, stay safe in the bush.